Enzo Fernandez, the most expensive signing in Premier League history. He has just joined Chelsea on this record fee, so we're going to be playing the next 10 years of his career to see where he ends up. He's 21 years old, so by the end of this video, he will be 31. This is the Chelsea squad we're starting him on. We'll be playing 10 seasons, tracking his goals, his assists, and his trophies. We try and make Enzo Fernandez the best midfielder of all time. So to begin, we simmed our first season to June 2023. So in season number one, Enzo Fernandez has gone up plus two ratings to 82 overall, which I don't think is a good sign because if he actually started every game, he should have gone up way more. Yeah, Chelsea are stacked with midfielders. Enzo Fernandez only ended up playing 24 games, getting five goals and one assist. It's okay though. He still has nine seasons to become the best midfielder. This is only season one. And of course, Chelsea falls short of Liverpool, second in the Premier League. And as for the rest of the trophies, well, you can see round six in the FA Cup, round for the QPO. I'll look at all those, bro. Chelsea are in L so far. And we have officially loaded into season two. Sun is on my screen. Get, get the Spurs players off my screen, man. We're on Chelsea. Okay, let's find out why Enzo Fernandez wasn't playing last year. Here are all the midfielders that were above him. So, Zakaria, but he's a CDM, so he would have played over Conte. Mudrik's gone up to a 77. We might have to play his career next. That would be fun. Ooh, Connor Gallagher, I think, is his main competition. I actually think Connor Gallagher played more. Oh, they're both the same rating. So, in real life, Enzo Fernandez signed an eight year deal to play with Chelsea, but we'll be allowed to train for him whenever we want to. But I think for this second season, we're going to keep him on Chelsea. This team has received Champions League football again, and I think they're a whole lot better from last year. So let's see how they do in season two. And we'll now simulate to June 2024. The so judging by the team seats, Endo Fernandez only up plus two again this year. I swear if Connor Gallagher is playing over Fernandez. Oh my God, he actually, he actually is. 25. He had the same exact season that he did last year. This looks like a copy. The most expensive signing in Premier League history is coming off the bench what and they got third in the Premier league oh my god bro what is this not only that but chelsea grouped in the champions league oh no is this a prediction for how chelsea are actually doing in real life after they sign all these insane players oh my god the final results for the second season and let's just say well i'm a chelsea fan i want enzo to succeed on chelsea but that's not happening so i think in season three it's not working. Enzo's got to go. Beginning of season three, here's Ender Fernandez, and he's now added to the transfer list. I hate to do this, but he wasn't getting much playing time at Chelsea, and they weren't winning. He's gone. And our first offer has come in from Marseille, and it's for 51 million, which is basically half of what Chelsea paid for him. This would be a huge downgrade for Hernandez, so I'm going to have to reject. Our next offer was way more interesting as it came from Atletico Madrid. Again, about half of what Chelsea paid, but if we're going to leave Chelsea, I don't know if we're going to get much better offers than this. I'm accepting Atleti. And we're now moving to our next club. It is time to sign this contract. I feel kind of bad for Chelsea. We just lost them so much money. Here's the team we're joining, though. It looks extremely good. Bob Felix should be here. Still on Chelsea. I know the Chelsea deal was alone, but um, apparently he ended up staying on Chelsea, so he's not on this team. I'm super glad we ended up moving here because from the looks of it, we will start at central midfield, and this team is incredible. Everyone's trending up. Who is this, bro? We even have a, a backup goalkeeper. We did 88 overall. Who is this? We'll now simulate season three up until June 2025. So Enzo's first year in La Liga, and he's already 87 overall. I think this was the right move. Huge dubs all around. He played 46 games. Didn't contribute much, but it's okay. He is a midfielder. We might potentially look in the next season to convert him to a cam. Also, shout out to Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who was our top goal scorer. Okay, now to see if he can win his first career trophy. La Liga... No. Is this how it's going to be? Copa de España. Oh, let's go. First career trophy. Vamos. It isn't La Liga, but we will take the League Cup in the Champions League, which still could be won. We're done. Cool. I want to cry, bro. I want to cry. I just left Chelsea, and they proceed to win the Champions League. Is this how it works? Here are the highlights for the rest of the season. Super Copa was won, but we're not going to count that one until the total trophies. On to season four. I I can't believe Chelsea won. I'm so mad. So we have loaded into season number four, where our team remains the same. With potential for Enzo Fernandez to advance to a 90 overall this year and every other player trending up. Chelsea better not win the Champions League two years in a row. Before we simulate our fourth season, an updated look at some of the individual stats for Enzo Fernandez. If we train him to a attacking midfielder it's going to give him a way better chance to score more goals 
potentially make this series a lot more interesting. We'll only take eight weeks to train him. So that's what we're going to do for this fourth season. And we'll simulate to 2026. End of season four. Let's find out what has happened to this squad. Enzo Fernandez is... Where is he? Wait, where? Hold up. Oh, no. Did he have a really... Did he seriously have a release clause? No, bro. Oh, my God. All right, transfer history. We will be able to find out where he has gone by clicking this button right here. Um, and scrolling ever. Oh, my God. No, bro. He went back to Chelsea. They paid $112 million. Never in the history of this series have we transferred a player and then pretty much immediately his old club bought him back. He is a 91 overall as well. Okay, let me get this straight. The first time Chelsea bought Enzo Fernandez for $121 million. We then sold him in this career mode for $49 million, And Chelsea bought him back for $112 million. What is Todd Bowley doing? This is actually happening because of this. I have no other choice but to move back to Chelsea. Oh my God. At the beginning of last season two, I said Chelsea better not win the Champions League. I take that back. I hope they did. So we get the trophy. I didn't expect to be here, but this is what the Chelsea team is now looking like. And Chelsea still cannot win the Premier League. This is a joke, man. Can they win the Champions League back-to-back -back seasons though? Oh my God, they lost in the final. Are you joking me? And during three mid-season, he only got one goal and two assists. Oh, also, I'm guessing since he moved, it didn't actually let us train him to cam, did it? In other news, semifinals of the FA Cup, still not a win. That means no trophies won in season number four. Let's load into season number five, though. So to start this fifth season, it did actually work. We are going to convert Enzo Fernandez to a cam. And his rating does stay at 91, which is fine. The World Cup also took place this year, so we're going to find out if Enzo Fernandez can win back-to-back -back World Cups with Argentina. Time to be looking at the groups, Portugal and France. Where? is Argentina. There they are. Okay. Easily topping their group. They beat Denmark in the round of 16. Beat Netherlands in the quarterfinals. Hold up. Brazil has been beaten. Oh my God. It's Argentina versus Portugal in the final. Argentina back-to-back -back World Cup wins. Oh my God. So, so far in this playthrough, Enzo Fernandez has won two trophies. The World Cup and the Copa de España. <laughs> We're not back to Chelsea, though, and we need to figure out who's still remaining on this team. All right, Pulisic's still here. Obviously, Enzo Fernandez is going to be Cam. Conte probably needs to get out of that position. Team's looking very decent. Not a whole lot of additions, not a whole lot of changes. What are we doing, though? Like, I left Chelsea. Now I'm back. I, I guess we're staying here for now. It's a sign that Enzo Fernandez wanted to stay, so let's now sim season five. So after being back on Chelsea in season five, they, they've switched the team around. They put us back in central midfield. They've put Declan Rice. Wait, what the heck is this, bro? Why is Declan Rice at Cam? What is going on at Chelsea? Oh my God. Before we figure out how we did in the end of the season, it's time for a key word in this video. Comment screwdriver if you've made it this far in the video. Sneak it into a comment somehow. Just confuse everyone who didn't make it this far. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, well, this is good news. Moving Enzo Fernandez to Cam has improved all of his stats. 16 goals, 13 assists. His best season yet by far. But we finished fourth in the Prem. Chelsea, just Chelsea winning the Premier League is just impossible, apparently. But the Champions League. Here it is. Group H topping it. Chelsea in it. Hold on. Can I get a dramatic voice here? Chelsea takes down AC Milan in the round of 16 on the quarterfinals. Taking down Napoli. Semi-finals. They beat Juventus on penalties. Let's go! Those boys! Okay, return to the regular voice. Chelsea has won the Champions League. Coming back to this club apparently was a good idea. The rest of the results for Chelsea are on the screen, and our halfway point has been hit in his career. He's got 26 goals, he's got 18 assists, and he's got three trophies, and he's got five seasons remaining. Into our sixth season, I think we need to start by putting Enzo Fernandez back at camp i mean like seriously what is this start? what is this starting 11 really disappointed with modric's growth he's only gone from a 74 to an 80. let's now simulate season six nothing else to do and we have made it enzo fernandez up to a 93 overall i do think this is going to be my last year with chelsea and i i do mean the legit last year unless this really slows gets paid again but that shouldn't happen they also just can't win the prem man like i don't know what it is with chelsea in the premier league good news is the fa cup is ours that is our fourth career trophy and fifth for the caribbean cup yo if we win the champions league we win the trouble this year can i get a drum roll please i want everyone at home right now to pick up the two nearest items to them um got my phone and i got my controller drum roll here we go oh Real Madrid. Oh, look, Atleti was in there too. Did we, what do we lose to? Bro, where are we at? Oh, that is disgusting right there. 15 goals, 16 assists. What a career it has been with Chelsea multiple times, in fact. But it is now 
officially time to leave for good. We are already in season seven, which is insane. Let's um, let's do it again. <laughs> it's time to leave Chelsea again, man. Offer one, a chance to go back to La Liga again, but play for another Madrid. Look at this offer, bro. Ete plus 123 million. Now, this is usually frowned upon. Moving to a rival club of a team we've already played for. I don't know why, though. I feel like Real Madrid is the perfect club for Enzo Fernandez. I just accepted it. <laughs> this is actually happening. Here we come back to Madrid. We're just moving back and forth between London and Madrid. It's just like, keep the planes coming because we're just going back and forth. Hopefully, wherever Fernando was living in Madrid, he didn't sell his place because he's back. And yeah, I mean, this is a video game, so I'm just kidding. But you <laughs> try to make a joke. Let's just move on. They have Diego Jota at center forward. Ooh, we're going to have to look at this, bro. Paqueta. Valverde still here. Where is the rest of their team, bro? They have no one on their bench. Overall, though, still a very good team. Vinicius on the left, Kulisevsky on the right, Valverde and Paqueta and Fernandez in the midfield. It's now time to simulate and win La Liga. It's hard to believe we're already in June of 2029 now. At the end of season seven, Enzo Fernandez. Oh my God, he is 95 overall, but still can't win the league. In his seven years of playing, has lost the league every single year. What is Valencia doing up there? Barcelona's in six too. What is going on? What a shame. Man City win the Champions League. Did I make the wrong move going here? 11 goals, 10 assists. I, I don't like that. Those are the final numbers for our performance in Season 7. What do I do in Season 8? I'm not gonna lie. This Real Madrid team is not impressing me. It wouldn't be respectful of me in this next season to not give them another chance. I just worry about the team's depth and the fact that their goalkeeper is only 82 overall. We have Ortega. He's a handsome looking man, but 76 overall is not gonna cut it, especially for Real Madrid. Oh, can I train? Can I train Enzo Fernandez? How many weeks is it going to take to train him the goalkeeper? Can you do that in FIFA anymore? I don't even know. No, okay, you still can't. EA should add that. Like, it's not realistic, but if a player wanted to be goalkeeper, how many weeks would it take to train him? I want to know. Let's sim season eight with Real Madrid. The year is now 2030. Mad. I always think it's crazy when we do these videos. Like, at some point, it is going to be 2030 in a real life. And you're still going to be able to watch these videos. And people can look back and be like, whoa. Like, this is what the game predicted, and they'll be able to see what actually happened, bro. I'm scared for 2030, bro. I like it now. All right, I'm sorry to scare you. <laughs> Let's just... How do we do? Do we win the league? No, bro. Villarreal, what is this? I will win the league with Enzo Fernandez by the end of this video, I promise you. Somehow, some way. We lost by two points. What is this Champions League final to? Marseille and Leipzig? What is happening? I am... I'm so confused. Marseille and PSG makes sense. Sport... What is that? 2030? What is going on? Man Enzo's still at a 95. He led the team in goals with 27. It's now time to load in to season nine. There's now officially two seasons remaining in this playthrough. Enzo Fernandez will not be ending his career at Real Madrid. We're adding to the transfer list and leaving. Here we go. Oh, I have to do it, don't I? I mean, it's City. 233 mil for Enzo. Oh my God. Let's run it. We're signing with City, but I can't turn it down. We're literally just going back and forth between La Liga in the Premier League, which I'm actually fine with. We've made it, Enzo, and we are going to get to put Holland and Enzo up against, or up against each other. No, they're playing with each other now. But before that, it's World Cup time. Can Argentina win three World Cups in a row? Has that ever been done? I don't know. Let's see. USA, bro. Oh my God. France finished bottom. What is going on? Okay, Argentina makes it through. Barely, though. Oh my God. They just lost to Hungary on Pence. All right, not three in a row. Hungary. Okay. Player play Hungary. If you're from Hungary, let me know in the comments. You guys are beasts. England, it's come home. All right, England, we'll give it to you. We'll give you a nice round of applause there. There's the Man City team, though. No depth on this team either. What the heck is happening, bro? It's like the further you advance in career mode, people just decide like not to sign players. Love a few players around, though, and this team's really good. Foden, Holland, Rodrigo, Fernandez, Guillermez. We have Tuchemeni, Cabore, Diaz, Senzi, Hernandez, and Ederson. This team is actually cracked. Before we sim, here's an updated look at the stats for Ender Hernandez. And it looks like he's... Wait, what? He hasn't grown in forever. Apparently, he's about to this year. I guess joining Man City, I guess their academy, their training is just better than any other club. That should be a thing in career mode. Your potential should change based on which clubs you join. Like if you join like an Ajax or a club known for developing young players, your potential should be higher. But if you have like, you join a club that, you know, is more based on you know consistently bringing new players in and not really developing players and your potential should be lower ea 
add that all right boys let's now simulate our second to last season so fernandez ends the year at a 96 overall i don't know why this team what is the manager doing bro they put rodrigo at center back oh there's no way we've won the league spurs bro oh my god we're literally cursed with that stuff for Nine seasons in a row. The worst part is I think every one of those nine seasons, we've been top four, but we've never been first. Wow. Arsenal in the FA Cup. Wait, go back to that. Was that Preston North End in the final? What? I guess that's the magic of the FA Cup right there. That is crazy, man. Oh my God. Luton. Okay. Did they just get lucky? They beat Leeds. I've never seen a club that small make it. And the Champions League. Come on, City. Come on, we've only won one Champions League this video. Juventus beat us. Oh my God. Shout out Inser who wins it. We have one season left, boys. Enzo finishes 27 in 17. Thank God we changed him to Cam. Ever since we did that, he's just been playing so well. We see scoring more and assisting more just because he's an attacking player now. All right, boys, let's load into the final season. The final season with this team. Let let me switch everyone back. Okay, that team looks a lot better. 30 years old Enzo Fernandez is about to play the final season of his career. He started at Chelsea, moved to Atletico Madrid, back to Chelsea, to Real Madrid, and now at Manchester City. Let's sim the final season to see if we can finally win the league. It is June 2023. The final team, Fernandez is going to end at 96, but will he win the Premier League? Yes! Oh my God, in the final season. Oh, I can breathe. 10 years. 10 years it took to win the league once. But end with a magical season here. FA Cup. Mad. Ah. Okay. I shouldn't get too. I shouldn't get too mad. I can't be a cup. Champions League goes to one of our former clubs, Atletico Madrid. Here are the final stats for the club. And Fernandez is going to end on 116 goals, 76 assists, and only six trophies. Enzo Fernandez, thank you for an incredible career playthrough. Make sure you guys comment down below which career of a player we should play through next. Click to watch another player career playthrough. Yeah. Comment what you want to see next. Okay. Bye.